so glad to be here. I came from the land of God's own country, the city of uh, Holy City, to deliver lecture, talk about the Mercury, Mercury Shiva, Sri Krishna, the Himself, and no doubt. I'm a clinician, I'm practicing in a remote village of Kerala. As a traditional physician of that village, I'm getting all types of diseases, including snake bites, including heart attack. If you are moving just 40 kilometers away from my village, a place called Perindal Manna, there you will get four super specialty hospital and one medical college. That's a picture of Kerala nowadays. In between, we are getting a number of cases, acute, chronic, every types of cases. People say it's a medicine, ah, it is, it's of a mercury, arsenic, higher metals, everything. So don't use mercurials, especially in Kerala, you can think what? Kerala Ayurveda has many types of schools. So one school called Ashtanga, Ashtavaidya Sampradaya. Those people are concerned to the herbal practice. Other schools say our school that is the tantric based school of Kerala Ayurveda. We are using elaborately all the metals and minerals, including mercury and arsenics. And Sujika Abhranavya Prasa, you know, still we are practicing that one. So I'm here at this first session. I want to describe the clinical Rasa Shastra, how to practice Rasa Shastra, how we are practicing Rasa Shastra in Kerala, what is our choice, and its fundamental notation. Next slide, please. Raso Vai Saha. Tasya Labdha Eva Anandi Bhavati. This is a quoting from Veda, Taitri Yopanishad. With the Reza only, you will get Ananda. What is the significance of Ananda? She, we should know. Actually, what is written in our science? How this sloka can be induced into the human body? If you know clearly whatever our science states, then the next step is how we can illustrate these things using the modern language. I believe if you don't know what exactly our science says, it will be very much troublesome to illustrate the same thing in modern language. So I want to uh, show all these things pertain to our language used in our classical text. Next stage is we have another sessions too, we can go for the research, research data. So Ananda, you know, the Rasaratna Samuchiya text started with the narration of Ananda. Yes, Ananda Bhava. Mangala Gala Sambhavite Naspuradhamna Karunavicha Sura Sintuna Bhaktana Prabhava Prasandhi Jara Ragati Dogaha Chanan Shanti Vyanti Jagat Pradhana Vishaji Tasmai Parasmai Nama. But you see, when you go through the Vatpada, this is Rasa Vatpada. When you go through the Vatpada, he started with Ragadi Roga Sahaja Samula, Yen Ashu Sarve Jagatopya Pasta, Tameka Vaidyam Sirasana Mami Vaidyaga Vidyam Sitta Mahadi. He started with the Raga. Rasaratma Samuchya started with the Ananda. Vatpada says, Raga is the root cause of all diseases. So the treatment is nothing but Ananda. Ananda is the bliss. It's not happiness. It's not sadness. In both conditions, you are in excited mode. The growth hormone will be secreting your body profusely and which leads to aging. So that is the disease condition. But the bliss, when you are balanced, I would have said talking about the balance. Not extremism, not fundamentalism. Choose the middle path, Ayurveda says. So, Ananda Bhavati. Ananda. Next slide, please. 
So in nutshell, this is nutshell, maybe some differences in opinion. I'm comparing the modern treatment like shooting. What they are doing is they are finding out the site where it is disturbance, shoot it there and remove that way. Then come to Ayurveda, how we are treating. We are just playing the chess. First of all, we give some Rajpajana drug and observe. We'll put in the pawn two steps ahead. Then watch. Then he will put another his own pawns ahead. Then we will, then we will play with the knight. And plus we will give a check. That is finished. That's why we are we are see we are arranging the body with so many tools and curing the disease. People are telling, people are against Western, people are against the Shastra, so many people are telling like that. But I am getting the patients all over the world. Now they are find out so many new technologies, new technical terms. They are quoting the Shastra as the tantric medicine. Basma is a nanoparticle. If you found a heading in a, in a modern literature saying that the efficacy of nanoparticles of one team, nothing but one Vanga Basma. When the Harvard University published a white paper four years back stating that if you mix the nanoparticles of silver with broad spectrum antibiotics, it can cure even negative organisms. Vagpada told same thing in Sanskrit, unfortunately, in the 8th centuries. It says if you are preparing Rajita Basma properly, mix with Tripala and Trikato, with honey and give Sarva Pitta Dosha Nibarhana. You know, A.R. Rahman got Oscar Award only when he sang in English. But his most popular songs are in Tamil only. Yes. So that's the difference. <laughs> so we we should know how to talk about these things in English or the language of their own. That's a later stage. Next slide, please. So, what is the difference between the Ayurveda and the Ayurveda? The Western thought process and Eastern thought process. The human body is synchronizing with the universe. That is the way we are identifying the body. The human body, you are sitting here at the same time, you are synchronizing with the seven planets. You are synchronizing with my, my prana. That is why. So, we have a, the, accordingly we designed our anatomy. From the anatomy itself, there is a deviation. So, pathology is deviated. Medicine is deviated, curative processes are deviated. See, so first, what is the difference? We have structural anatomy. What you are studying, what you are found in grazer anatomy is the structural anatomy. By dissection, it's obvious. It's pratyaksha. But Ayurveda, when Ayurveda started the treat, designing of the treatment, Ayurveda need more and more subtle forms of body which is helping to synchronize the universe. So, functional anatomy. So, they found another anatomical methodology called Marma Sharida. It is staggering in the body. Angushtangula Madhyastam Chipram Akshepa Marana. It is staggering in between the two fingers. So, that type of anatomy is that again, again, I will need some more anatomy because uh, structures. That is, they found Kalasharila. Kalasharila is not stagnant. Chandra Kala, Surya Kala, Yoga Kala, Kama Kala. These things are there in the body. When the body is leaving, when the body is leaving, this Kala is changing according to the eclipse of the moon. It's changing from one part of the body to the other part. In that body, if you are going for dissection, cannot hardly found all these things. So there is a this deviated. Next slide. So that is the Raga and Roga. Ananda is the is the remedy. Charaka states in the first Dhirga Jivitiya chapter itself. Yatha Visham Yatha Shastra. Yatha Kriya Chadir Yatha Tadavshadam Avinyatam Vitnyatam Amritam Tantam. 
So Charaka specifies this material is toxic, this material is non toxic. No, it's not like that. If you are aware about a material, it is nectar. If you are not aware about the material, it is toxic. So your knowledge is important. If you know the logic how to administrate a drug into the body, it is nectar. So what is the logic? There is so many other logics which is not at all considered by the modern medicine while administrating a medicine that we are taking care of. That's why when you are administrating mercury into the body, after the Ashta Samskara and by Murchana procedure, Bandhana procedure, then with the specific dose, specific diet and regime and specific kala, it is nectar. But when the thimerosal, salt, that is the organic compound of mercury, mixing with the serums and injecting into the, into the pregnant ladies, is may causing autism in the wombs. So that is the beauty of Ayurveda. I may say, Ayurveda know better the safety administration of the toxic materials into the body. How? That we have to study. Next slide, please. Another thing. These are some identical areas of Ayurveda. First, we have to make it clear. In Ayurveda, the diseases are not mentioned as the white, white uh, watertight compartments. It is just like a spectrum. It's a sequences from one disease is going to the another disease. So first of all, it's chart jwara. Every disease is amaya only, you know. When ama is there in the stomach, jwara will come. Then next, if the fever is high, hyperparaxia, <laughs> then hyperparaxia slowly turns to hemorrhagic diseases, hemorrhagic fevers like chikungunya, like dengue fever, rickettsia. Then, if the, that, that is the Raktavita, from Raktavita, Kasa will form, from Kasa, Shasa will form, Kasa Vrutya, Bhavesh, Shwasa. Then, from Shasa, Rajyakshma, then Rajyakshma, Madhya, Murcha and Sanyasa. All the diseases at that last stage, it will achieve a part like Madhya, Murcha and Sanyasa. When the dosha, in the Prakopa stage, if it's connected to the Trimarmas, any Trimarmas, if it's connected to the Prana, that's way, because most of the Marmasthanas are connected mostly with the, with the Prana. So if it's connected to the Trimarma, the body's picture will change, it's good to the Madha. Means the body, greediness, trauma, all these things will come. Next stage is Morsha. Delirium stage will come. Fainting will come. Then it is Sanyasa. It's coma stage. And from the coma, Sanyasa, another stage described by the Ashtanga Sangra is called Mana Pralaya. Mana will dissolve with the Prana. Then at last, the death. So, Sanyasa we call Sanyipata Jwara. You see. So our pathogenesis is described like from Jora to Jora. But first Jora is just like cold Jora. It is not killing anybody. But when a person is dying at that time, the disease is nothing but Jora only, but the 13 Sannipatas, any of these 13 Sannipatas. So while the patient died, and what is the disease? Oh, it's CCF. No, it is not CCF. It is Jora only. Jora Rokapati Parkma Mrityu Ojoshanam Antaka. Jora only described as the Mrityu, no other diseases. Hitma described as a Mrityakale Kritalayo. Yeah, it is there. It is stepping towards the Mrityu. But Mrityu means the Jora. So, if you are getting a patient, the patient is situated, any of these things. So, our drugs are formulated, the drug trafficking technology of Ayurveda, utilized, choosed to frame out that drug to intervene this these areas. Actually in Ayurveda, the drugs are not meant for curing a disease, but to tackle a samprapti avastha. Samprapti vikatthana meva chikilsa. 
Disanti sampraapti. Sampraapti vikhatta na meva chikilsa. So, if you cure a visarpa, a skin trouble, it will cure. We will give some arogya vardhi like that. So, next week, patient will come and he will say, Okay, now there is no pustule, sir, but he is itching. Too much itching. What will happen? Itching will come only in the night time. Some articaria is developing. That is the Sita Pita. Then if you are treating for Sita Pita, then patient will come, oh, now it's, that is over, now there is no intact, there is no digestion, constipation. The Ajirna state will come. Like that, if they are cutting the Samprapti, at last if the patient is okay, we will be give the Rasayana address. That is the way how Ayurvedic treatments are formulated. So again, there will be, there will not be any other disease for this particular person. That is a beautiful way Next slide, please. Next, just one, please. Just one, please. See this is Prama Agrimandyam, Jwaram, Rektapetam, Shokam, Sanyasam. We can interpret it this way, just to understand the knowledge. Next slide, please. So, this is another important slide. We know those avastha chaya, kopa, and avarana. Chaya eva jaya jodha dosha. In the chaya avastha, what we can do? We can go for some, uh, some procedures by which you can cure the disease. And kopa avastha, you can go for panchakarama. So cleansing programs. Okay, then avarana process, you cannot directly go for shodhana procedure because there is the avarana. So before that, you have to give some vajna drugs. Then Charaka insists, you have to go for mixer procedures. You have to give Sita Ushna procedure by mixing together. One Sita, then again Ushna, again Sita, again Ushna. Or Guru, Leku, or Snigda and Rusha, then or Rasayana procedures. Then, then after what happened to this Dosha? It will come to such a stage called Tiryakati. That is a dangerous position. Even in cancer patients, or these patients, we are getting the Tiryakati. There we not, we need not the Rasayana, the Rasa Rasayana. Because the Visha Rasayana we need. It should be so potent. The drug should be so potent. Then only that drug can remove the Tiryakati of the Dosha and the Avarana of the Dosha. There we need the Rasa Rasayana. There we need the Rasa Ushadhas. When you are getting a patient and you are thinking that, oh, in this case I need a course of antibiotic. Thereafter I will give the Kashaya. When you are getting an arthritic patient with severe edema all over the body and severe pain, day and night, and no other drugs are responding, you went for Panchalama procedure, not responding well, then you might be thinking that, oh, this time I need a course of uh, steroids, just to give sudden relief. But at that time you think about the Rasa Shastra, that is the way how we practice Rasa Shastra in Kerala. Next. Next slide, please. So, Ashtanga Sankrata says, Dosheshu Shesho Paya Parichaye Visham Prayujita Shesho Paya Parichaye Visham Prayujita Nityacha Rasayana Gaveshna Who are well deaf knowledge in Rasayana, Rasa Rasayana and Visha Rasayana They can use all these things. Ashtanga Sankrata Uttrasthana A separate chapter is mentioned in Ashtanga Sankrata Visho Vyogina Madhyaya so, we Acharyas, and we are not reluctant towards the poisonous drugs. But genuinely we use the, 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 the poisonous drugs. Visham yuktiya amrutam devi tata yukdiya visham evacha tasma yuktiya visham sevyam ayuktiya nakadajana matraya bhajitam chvedam amrutam bhavati priye anandagata says matra gite varaarohe amrutam ki visham bhavit so the logic is important. What is the logic? What is the logic of administration of Reza drugs? That we have to specify. Next slide, please. So Charaka opened two possibilities to cure an incurable disease. That is Kala and Rasayana. Rasayana, first of all, Charaka mentioned 
खबर रसायन लाइक कामल का रसायन देन ही माइट बी थिंकिंग दैट एंड दिस इज लॉ पोटेंस सो हाउ टू इंप्रूव द पोटेंसी ऑफ द रसायन सो आई 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 चलेगा एडवाइसेस टू मिक्स द मेटल्स टू द आमल का रसायन दस ही डिराइव लॉ आमल का रसायन हाउ टू मिक्स आयर हाउ टू मिक्स गोल्ड हाउ टू मिक्स ऑल द मेटल्स इन टू दैट वर्ड to improve the resina property of the herbal resina agastias is it all beautifully that this herbal resina is not that much potent you should go for a mercurial then only to work beautifully in the body because the bio availability of the resina will be much more when we are mixing with the mercurial and metals then we can we will get another type of resina that is rasa resina then we, when you are mixing the arsenic at that time you will get visha rasayana that's also very much relevant when the disease is going attaining a tenant uh, stage of uh, tiryagati and avarana mm. 